What is going on guys? My name is Brent and I hope you guys are excited because this is part six of my tutorial series on how to create the game Super Mario Brothers. So if you remember correctly, last tutorial we created this game world in Tiled, which is our map editor. In this tutorial, we're going to be taking that uh, world and moving it into our game via code. Then we're going to use our camera to navigate around uh, the screen so we can view all parts of the map. So with all that said, let's go ahead and get started. Go ahead and get into Android Studios and load up your play screen here. We're going to need to create three new variables, the first being private um, TMX map loader. And this is what's going to load our map into the game. So we're just going to call this map loader. Um, next is a private uh, tiled map. This is a reference to the map itself. And third is a private uh, orthogonal tile map renderer. And this is what renders our map to the screen. We'll just call this renderer. Now scrolling down here, we'll have to create these. So map loader equals new uh, TMX map loader. And then map will equal map loader dot load and then we give it a string from our assets folder here in our android uh, uh, folder so t level one dot tmx is what it's named level one dot tmx and then finally um, we'll have uh, the renderer equals new orthogonal map renderer or orthogonal tiled map renderer and then we give it our map to render. So when we create a camera like our game cam, um, it actually defaults to centering around the coordinate 0, 0. We don't want that because that leaves basically four quadrants. Our game would only be in the positive X and Y axis, so it would only take up uh, about 25% of our game screen. So let's center it around uh, our viewports uh, width and height divided by two. Um, so let's do game cam dot position dot set and we'll set that to game port dot get screen width divided by two and game port dot get get screen height divided by two and then zero for the Z axis. So we are going to create a new method called public void update that takes in a float delta time. And this is where we're gonna do all the updating of our game world. Um, and the first thing we're going to update is actually to check to see if there's any inputs happening. So any left or right clicking or clicking on the screen or any kind of key uh, presses or anything like that. So we're going to say handle input. Um, and then we need to create that method public void handle input. And then below handle input, we need to always update our camera anytime it moves. So the first thing, or one of the things we'll do is game cam dot update. We need to always update our camera every iteration of our render cycle. We're also going to make handle input take in a delta time as well. So we'll just pass this delta time along with uh, handle input. And so we're going to do if is touched, which means that the screen is being clicked on or a finger is pressing on your phone or something like that. We're going to say the game cam dot position dot x plus equals so we're adding to its position 100 times the delta time this is just temporary so we can check out all of our game world for right now so okay so we've handled our input now it's going now we need to the render method is the only thing that's getting called over and over so the first thing in our render method needs to be update um, with our delta time there. So finally, we need to let our uh, map renderer know what it actually needs to render, like the coordinate system square rectangular box. So uh, we're going to say renderer.setView 
to our game cam. So this is only going to render what our game cam can see. And then down here we can say render dot render. Make sure it's after you're clearing the screen. So I made one error here. This should be gameport.getworldwidth divided by two and gameport.getworldheight divided by two. So once you have that, go ahead and hit the play button up here or run button. And it will load a little bit slow for the first time, but once it does, there we go. We now have a world here. And if I click on my mouse here, uh, I can, the x-axis or the camera moves along the x-axis to show us the world. And so we're just using this temporarily until we get a Mario sprite on the screen, in which case we can have the uh, game cam follow uh, Mario himself. So we'll just go ahead and let it scroll through the uh, end of the game here so you can check it all out. Uh, this is actually a pretty big advancement for our game. It'll keep people uh, entertained, I guess, for a little bit so we can get back to the technical stuff. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. We'll go ahead and cut it there for now. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and post them below. I'm pretty good about getting back to everybody. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button. But most importantly, if you do like it, please share it. Um, if you're feeling generous, check out my Patreon page. I give you two big thumbs up for that. I appreciate everybody watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.